check that. Designer secrets this morning. We all know fine art comes in so many different forms, but did you know it can be quite practical as well? Artist Richard Altman is here from Fusion Studios in Tempe to show us how everyday objects like lights and mirrors can be transformed into beautiful pieces of glass art. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. We were caught in conversation here. This guy, has he's both the master of the right brain and the left brain. Former biology teacher, architecture teacher. And uh, then how did you segue into art? Well, when I was at the um, Arizona State University and I was teaching there, I uh, took classes in photography and got an MFA in photography. So I had always had an artistic interest. My sister was an artist. And uh -huh. So as time went on uh, in my professional career, when I had spare time, I spent it in the studio working and uh, eventually evolved that. Uh, as well as my uh, professional side, so I ended wow, up having Wow, there's even some, e even some engineering and electrical then uh, employed in this too. Take a look at some of these pieces. I just want to get right to it, Richard, because this is so stunning. I mean, this is unbelievable. We're going to talk about how you created something like that, but there's also some lights, if you can see, and these mirrors that would just be so gorgeous in a vanity, you'd really almost want to keep it out in the main room for people to look at. Well, the idea is to provide a functional object, mm -hmm. but as well have a fine art feel to it. And so mm. it's a f functional art, It is just, and it's, there's a difference here between, because you can see that it's glass. If it's fused glass or blown glass, what, what is what here? Well, all of the work that we have here is what we call fused glass. Uh, the difference is that when you do blown glass, you're working in temperatures about 2,000 degrees, mm -hmm. and the artist is actually manipulating the hot glass. Mm -hmm. When we do fused glass, what we're doing is we're working in a process similar to what a, an artist that works in pottery might take on, where they create their object, they put it in the kiln, the kiln basically heats the object up, and, um, and then after it is fired, it's cooled down, and you have a finished piece. Well, you can see here, we're looking at this video of you in your studio. Is this the kiln? Yes, that's a kiln right there. And uh, basically, after the piece has been laid out, mm -hmm. we place it into the kiln, and um, we uh, essentially have a controlled heating process that we go through. There's actually a computer that's on the, on the kiln, and you assign a ramp up, if you will. We want this to heat up at a certain rate. Mm -hmm. Then once, it's like baking, once you get to that temperature, you want to leave it there for so long. Uh -huh. And then you gradually want to cool it down uh -huh. so that the object uh, does not crack as it, as it cools. Well, you know, I, you looked like the scientist in that video. I must say, right? It's, it's such an interesting process. I'm looking behind here to try to see what it, what it feels like. This is, of course, all textured. This, smoother, but the colors that come out. Is this just a result of that heating process? It that is. It, like this? it is, and I think uh, what you've identified here, this has kind of a jeweled look to it and mm -hmm. a feel. There's actually a texture to it, mm -hmm. and that is because we controlled the temperature and kept the temperature a little less than the piece that, that's in front of you there, oh, is where that we right? increased the temperature, and therefore the glass uh, fused together as a, as a flat piece. Okay, I get it. Now, I'm going to turn this around, and I pray this does not crash. Do you see how on the front it's one color? Can you see this? One design? I'm going to ask, wait till we get a close-up here. And then if you look at the back side, look at this. It's completely different. Is that not stunning? So from every angle, and if you get tired of it, you can just flip it around. You've got a whole new lamp. That's the idea. This is your design, even the, the yes. steel structure here? Yes, we do all the metal work as well as the uh, glass work to create the pieces. And we, we have done uh, projects like, for example, Princess Cruise Ships. We did a, a big projects uh, with a couple of restaurants on some cruise ships. Wow. And so we worked with uh, a local company, Art and Metal. They did all the metal work. We did the glass work. Awesome collaboration. Sent it to Japan. They put it together. And, and voila. Well, you, you are go. very gifted. Thank you so much for well, showing you. it on the show. And I'm sure you all want to check out Richard's pieces in person. And you'll want to go to FusionStudiosAZ.com or to a studio gallery, which is in Tempe on Willow Drive. It's just off Elliot, 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 not Elliot, Elliot and McClintock. Easily right. accessible. You'll have to go check it out in person, Kaylee. Elliot. I like that. <laughs> that was fantastic.